cars over on the causeway. <laughs> This radar would be important for the Hubble mission because it enhances our ability to understand the state of the thermal protection system before the vehicle comes back. So it characterizes how the ascent looked from a debris perspective, which gives us greater confidence that the vehicle is clean before it comes back in. The test we're running today is important because I'm holding in my hands a calibration sphere. So this is a 12-inch diameter aluminum sphere that's machined so it's perfectly round. It's a target of known reflectivity, and so we suspend it from a balloon, and as it rises through the air, we track it with the radar, and then we tune the radar depending on uh, the, the parameters that we put in, and we expect a certain signal back from the, the, the sphere. It's important that we do that because the debris mission is, is very hard. It's a very difficult mission to, to track very low reflectivity targets. So it's important that the radar be very, very closely calibrated. So we use these spheres uh, in between missions and then as we build up towards launch to make sure the radar is in as good a cal state as possible. This radar is used in conjunction with two other radars that we use as part of the debris radar system. This is a raging radar that has very close range resolution, whereas the other two radars that are placed on ships offshore are Doppler radars that measure velocity. And so between range and velocity, we get a really good picture of what the uh, debris information is going to tell us. It can see pretty, uh, pretty small debris. We saw an event about uh, two flights ago that was 500 kilometers downrange, and it was about a three-quarter of an inch piece of Inconel foil that came off the back end of the vehicle, and, and we were able to see pretty conclusively as it came off. So this radar is clearly here with these facilities here for a long time.